good afternoon and welcome to the GTC. Um, my name is Ralf Pieper. I'm the R&D director of Delta um, Energy Systems uh, of the CDBU. CDBU stands for Custom Design. Um, I'm with Delta now for 24 years and uh, we, our group became some kind of experts during the time um, in networking, data center and server power design. So this is a sponsored presentation from Delta. So who is Delta? Uh, Delta Electronics was founded in 1971 by Bruce Cheng. And our um, corporate um, mission is to provide innovative, clean and energy efficient power solution for a better or greener tomorrow. So we are the number one in uh, producing power supplies and brushless fans. Um, last year or in 2022 our uh, revenue was close to 13 billion uh, we donate more than 8% every year um, of our revenue into R&D in the uh, time frame from 2010 to 2022 uh, we saved 21 million tons of carbon emissions by uh, steadily increasing the power, uh, yeah, the power supply efficiency Okay, so let's look at this mega trend, so the booming um, AI growth. So here you see the chart of the uh, market size and uh, you see it will uh, grow exponential. So this is a prediction um, from now until 2032. And you see the predicted uh, market size will be 2,745 uh, billion in uh, 2032, which is actually 10 times of the value of this year, of uh, 234. When you joined the um, keynote from Jensen yesterday, so he showed the similar slide. Um, here we see the computing performance over time. So the blue curve is the general compute, the CPU, um, and we see uh, that it stagnates. So 100 years before it doubled every second year so this was Moore's law but uh, this seems to be uh, at the end now because yeah the semiconductor is shrinked already to four to five nanometer processes and also the clock speeds uh, came to their maximum already so there is no big uh, performance increase visible but the green curve um, yesterday Jensen mentioned he make it uh, 1,000 times in, in eight years. So here I, I put 10 years. So it's even more, more steep, this climb. And with the increased um, GPU uh, performance, of course, also the, the power need is uh, increasing. So here we see the Grace and Hopper. This is the current um, ship. Um, and if you combine uh, one Grace, so this is the ARM-based CPU with two of these hopper ships, we get the uh, GH200, which uh, takes around 1,700 watt. The next generation, the Blackwell, if you use one Grace and two Blackwell ships, this will be 3,300 watt. So the power doubled for one uh, new generation of the chip how to power this um, power-hungry GPUs in the future. Here we see a single line diagram of a typical AC supplied data center, like it's uh, used in every co-location all over the globe. And we see from left to right, so the left is the uh, grid with the medium voltage, and on the right side uh, there is the chip voltage, uh, 0 0.8 volt. So, in a traditional data center it starts with the uh, big transformer and we have a diesel generator to um, yeah, avoid grid outages then normally this is followed by a UPS uninterruptible power supply there are lithium ion batteries to uh, provide the power when the grid is not available um, then we will have some smaller distribution units PDUs and then um, the power is transferred to the server racks and uh, here we see um, 
AI server rack with the Open Compute uh, V3 power shelf. And um, due to this uh, very dynamic uh, GPUs, we see some, some disturbance on the AC line. So we see flicker problems and uh, power factor problems. So to overcome this and to offload the uh, AC power supply, we have some kind of peak load shaving shelf. So this is the lower one where we use uh, super caps to uh, provide energy for this um, high dynamic GPUs. And then the last stage, we convert the 50 volt down to 12 and then to 0 0.8 volt core voltage. So a um, few details to the involved components. So again, this is the UPS. Um, for example, if you do a training, so yesterday we heard this can take up to three months. And then if you have a power outage and your data would be lost, this is not nice, right? So we have this uninterruptible power supplies. So power level goes up to two megawatt and you can hook up eight in parallel. So up to 16 megawatt. Then I, s I told you already, um, then the, the power rack uh, will follow. In the power rack, there is a bus bar, a DC bus bar. So it's quite small here. So the 50 volt is uh, provided to a bus bar and then the servers can also take the energy from the bus bar. So there is no power supply inside the server. We call this um, centralized power. And um, yeah, the conversion from AC to DC is done in our power shelf. This is here in the middle. So we have a 3,000 3, watt, 5.5 kilowatt and 8 kilowatt unit. These uh, shelves convert the AC to the 50 volt DC. And um, to communicate with the power supplies, we have also a shelf controller. We call it PMC, power management controller. So this offers um, Ethernet gigabit um, speed to do firmware updates and also check um, all the health data of the power supplies. And then, yeah, as I mentioned, we also have this peak load shaving shelf uh, where we have uh, super caps inside, which uh, have actually no, no aging. So it's not like a lithium ion battery. So they can withstand this high dynamics and uh, can uh, provide the power for the GPU. I told you before, uh, from 50 volt to the core voltage, um, there we have two approaches. Um, one is on the left side, there is a fixed ratio and to one um, converter, which converts uh, 50 volt to 12.5 volt in this case. And then there is a voltage module VR which makes the 12 volt to the 0 0.8. Or the other one on the right side, we have a um, power distribution board. This is um, yeah, five to six kilowatt, also converting 50 to 12 volt, it's regulated. And then we also have the VR modules uh, near to the GPU ship. So currently the biggest data centers from the tier one um, customers are around 180 to 200 megawatt. And uh, we can um, assume that currently maybe 90% uh, CPUs are used and only 10% GPUs. But in the near future, this will change, right? So everyone is installing these um, GPUs. And maybe if the ratio goes to 70% GPUs, then this 180 megawatt data center will be a 0 0.65 gigawatt data center. And then the step to the one gigawatt is not so far. We also learned yesterday that the footprint will, will shrink. So yes, you will have more, more density in this very small racks. And here we see some problems with the normal AC distribution, what we have currently. So the space on top of the rack uh, will not allow to um, yeah, connect the whips to the uh, busway in the data center. So if you double the power, then normally you need to double the whips, the AC whips, but there is no space on the roof. So um, yeah, one way is to increase the AC voltage or what is our vision for the future. We want to have a high voltage DC distribution inside the data center. 
So we want to um, generate this plus minus 400 volt by a solid state transformer. So we get rid of this big bulky um, transformer. Then we will have this 400 plus minus 400 volt um, DC bus. There we can hook up um, central battery or fuel cell or solar. So all these renewable energies are easy to hook up to a DC. And um, then on rack level, we will have this DC-DC power supply also as a shelf. So we can convert 400 volt down to 50 in the rack and then we are, have the same voltage and the same setup like today in this AC distribution. And then the DC-DC is exactly the same like we have today. So the solid state transformer. So we are developing a modular version. So this is good for scalability, for redundancy and also to um, adapt to the various input voltages. So from region to region you will have different medium voltage levels and um, our modular approach can handle this. Then, as I mentioned, on rack level, we convert the 50 volt down to, to the, um, the 800 volt down to the 50 volt. And then for the, CP, uh, for the DC DC converters, we also have some a new evolution. So currently, all these uh, voltage modules, the regulator modules, are around the CPU. And um, yeah, they have to be closed, but there is no space. And um, our approach is to put this on, on the bottom side of the, of the ship. So we call this um, vertical power. And then we also see um, currently the deployment of the DC-DC converters are two stages. We saw 50 to 12, 12 to 0 0.8. So we also have this uh, delta single stage TVR. This is a transformer coupled voltage regulator. And you see the um, efficiency increase of 5%. This brings me to the end of my speech. So you are welcome to visit our booth. We are in opposite of the NVIDIA um, booth, so in the center. And you can contact me via email if you need more information. Thank you.